what I'm basically doing here is basically I'm actually backing up, showing you guys in case I need to actually prove something uh, illegally wise to Nintendo that these are all my legally backed up cartridges of uh, basically just legally backing them up through this. Backing them up on my Discord server, I can also like uh, dump my cartridges as a CIA file. And I can basically just basically dump them into my uh, a server or something. So basically, these are just uh, I have a also um, I've also sorted uh, the other packages of cartridges that I've had over there. So what we got, assumingly over here, um, I'll point I'll zoom in just so you can see. So what we got going here is that these cartridges are ones that I have yet to dump. These two are just paired, and these ones are paired that are already complete. So what I got going on here is the ones that, these are complete pairs, this is the complete pair that I, that I, set, that's, that I actually got. Now, the ones in my hand are already been dumped, so I'm going to put them here. And then these ones are ones that I'm going to dump uh, right now, actually, in the meanwhile. So we got Donkey Kong Country Returns, um, 3D, right here. Then we got, um... Mario and Luigi Paper Jam for the 3DS right here. And we got Ultimate NES Remix, which I <laughs> don't know how I got, but okay. And then last but not least, we got Kirby Triple Deluxe in this slot collection here. Which actually was pretty okay for a game, I guess. This is very alright. Not total dog garbage, I'll say that much. And then these are the ones that are in pairs. Um, I split in twos. Because there's ones that work, ones that don't work. Uh, there's one that, uh, for each one, there's one that's, well, actually, no. Super Mario Maker actually works for both copies that I have, right here. But the problem is that they're different data sizes. Like, they're different date save datas. So, like, one's basically, a, uh, like, a, well, my own personal save file. And the other one is just for the other 3DS, I think. Whereas for, um... New, new Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, there's one cartridge that actually works and one that doesn't. I think the other one was water loaded or it's been badly scratched because I think I'm starting to see scratches on the uh, A, B, E, E, X and not the A, B, E, E, Y. So it looks like maybe there's two different regions between the two because if you look closely, you can see there's a slight difference between the two cartridges. So that could be possible that. Uh, there's a difference between the regioning, but I'm not too sure. Plus, there's a little bit of, uh, <laughs> there's a little more scratches on this one. I don't know if you can see that because of the camera, but that's what we're looking at right now. So what I got here is a jailbroken 3DS here. I'm just backing up my games through here. Um, you can tell it's jailbroken because it's running God Mode 9, for example. Um, if we load up, uh, we got Kid Icarus Uprising being a uh, process right now. And it looks like it's being verified, and now it's complete. So I'm just going to copy that. We'll delete this message. And send it over. The rest of these dumps I'm probably going to do on Google Drive, because why not? I mean, honestly, I feel like I don't need to waste much more space with media fire. Plus, it failed once when I was trying to dump, like, Kid Icarus Uprising on my my copy of Kid Icarus Uprising on there. So I, and honestly, if you're wondering where I'm putting these dumps at, well, here's a good question answer for you. It's all the way in my Discord server in the ROM Vault. Now keep in mind that in my info tab, you want to I want to make sure you read this. This server is an arc private archival for my legally dumped cartridges and for 3DS games. It will expand for a while, and uh, well, for a, and will not be taking suggestions regarding piracy. If you want the game, buy it or ask for credits. Note: some or all CIA files are not encrypted, so anyone can use them if so. That means if a game is encrypted, it's only going to work on the game cartridge, the game that's actually that made the dump, or the console that made the dump. So if I made this dump and I encrypted it, that means only I get to use it because it's on my console. And other people won't be able to use it.
essentially just saying that, hey, other people can't use your CIA file because it's not encrypted to your console. So you don't own the game. It's like an anti-piracy thing, but I don't use it because I like to give freedom for everyone to, in case they want uh, to know what the game is like, they want to try it out. I just thought it'd be nice, but I don't condone piracy. That's not a thing for me be to do because like I own, I bought the games. I own the games. I thought, why not share my backups? Because like, if I'm going to share my backups, I have to own them legally. That's one rule I'm going to make for myself. I'm not going to do anything regarding Dolphin. I'm not going to do anything regarding Simu. We're, we don't talk about that in this server because that is a different tangent. Because those ROMs are outside of what I legally own, despite the fact that I actually do own the discs. I can't back them up on a console. I can't back... Well, I'll tell you, like, hand on a Wii, but those things are dying on hardware. It's like, it's old age consoles, okay? We don't talk about that. But what we will talk about is how we're going to do this on the 3DS of things. Because that's actually easier to do. Because I can just put the SD card in there. Or not the SD card. I can plop the SD card in my car console. Put the cartridge in. And, uh, and format it to a, a build it as a CIA file. That's what we're looking at. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to test these. To see if they actually run. And I'm going to do... Hmm. I'm going to do Donkey Kong Country Turns 3D, for example, and show you what it looks like. So, as you can see, when I put the cartridge in, it kind of tries to read it. But also, some my 3DSs have kind of difficulties trying to read the cartridge, so I have to test it in the actual, like, menu, so therefore it works. And this is my older model, by the way. This is the, the new one's, like, back there somewhere. See, I'm uh, dumping to my, uh, uh, the game that I'm actually dumping to my, uh, uh, server. Now I just have to wait for that to complete. Hopefully it does actually, though, otherwise I'm not going to be happy. And now it's actually backed up. So now we can actually, like, <clears throat> and go into this file. And let's say if I wanted to download it, I, would, I could actually be just be able to go to it at any time. Alongside with all these other ones. That I've actually legally owned. And to be clear. That this is actually what I actually put up here. And for, for my cartridges. So any of these games are actually just. Ones that I've backed up and decrypted. So yeah. these are This is actually something cool for like an archival thing. Next up, I'm actually doing what uh, what my favorite one is actually to be doing. Hang on, let me actually move the camera a little bit. One of my favorite other games that I'm actually backing up is actually uh, Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS. It was Super Mario Maker by Nintendo. So this is actually one of these games that actually also is in my library. Two copies, actually. Uh, one physical and one physical. Actually, you can see. How But yeah, you can see if it, the reason why I'm actually backing these up, you can see why. It's just in case the store is closed or something goes around in the world, you know, and then I can just download them right away. But of course, this is also because um, some of the stores in my area were actually being shut down for uh, from business, like Lakeside Mall, Game Stops, uh, you know it, but. That's why I wanted to preserve these classics because, you know, if Nintendo is not going to, why shouldn't I? You know? But I thought this was something cool to do for once. You know, I just thought it'd be nice to preserve something that Nintendo is not planning to do. And, yeah, it was something fun to do in the meantime, you know? Something to archive these games. And as you can see, I uh, got the CIA built on here. So now I can just basically show you guys what actually it does so when i go to the god mode 9 uh file uh folder and, and then go to output there it is 
the stand it basically shows the, uh, the title ID uh, followed by the version number and then the standard CIA uh, I think that was correct yeah so basically what it does is it backs up onto the Gobbo 9 output folder so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this both this and um, the cartridge out So there's that, and this, but boom, boom, boom. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put that in the completed uh, dumps, and I'm gonna put this in the computer so I can back that up. So here we can see if we go to uh, the Gobbo 9, and if we go to output, I'm gonna rename this just for remembering it. Um, I'm going to call it Super Mario Maker 3, 4, so 3DS. Is that what it was called? I think so. Um, I do, I just want to get my completed dump one, and do the same thing. Interesting. Hmm. Take that and I'll wind it back into the emulator stick. It's what I actually call it. It's not what it's called, but it's what I call it. You get the picture. So basically what I'm doing is I'm backing up these ROMs on my uh, stick here, my USB drive, in case I need them again, you know. It's, uh, it's kind of a new territory. Alright, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go, wait, how many, how much metabytes was that? How many gigabytes? 304, Okay, so I can just go to Mediafire and um, upload this there. Uh, where did it go? Super Mario Maker for the 3DS. Okay, so this is 364 metabytes. Not that bad. I'm going to begin the upload here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to copy that link. And I'll meet you guys when that actually gets backed up. I decided to back up uh, one of these uh, Mario Kart Wii, uh, the physical copy that I own. Um, it's got this loads with me. I don't know. Actually, here. Oh, would you want to pirate get me? You are not a pirate. Or I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, back this up on the, as a Wii ROM. Remember, don't do what Vim did. At least I don't think Vim did anything wrong. You know what I'm talking about. And also, I got a couple extra more ROMs on here. So we got Super Mario 3D Land bracked up, Legends of the Three Majora's Mask. I also got these also backed up. And we also got Super Mario Maker for 3DS. Remember, all done. Yeah, this, uh, Brings it to one of my documents, uh, uh, and uh, honestly, the end of well, the end of one of my documents. And uh, yeah, uh, if you guys are a one to uh, maybe maybe go for something like talk about emulation, okay? <laughs> if you want to just like try out something for once, like that, that I've actually legally backed up, 
go for it. But honestly, please give credits because I do not want this being taken down because I have to legally uh, requ uh, get a request be uh, from something. And why is my camera, like, so mirrored when I go into OBS? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, be sure to actually leave a like, subscribe, and thanks for supporting my channel. Let me uh, be sure to join my Discord server, the ROMs and the uh, the, uh, the the legally backed up ROMs and the uh, uh, the Discord server invite is in my uh, uh, about tab in my channel. How many times have I stammered? By the way, never mind. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and thanks for supporting my channel. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below of this progress. Of a and thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Preserving the classics, as always.